Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, uh, I'm going to start a new playlist on my vlogging channel where I'll be discussing about AI tech news, the recent development that are actually happening in the world of AI. I'm going to share you what are the things that are going to come up. We'll talk about various leaders uh, in the field of AI, what they are doing, you know, and many more things. And probably this will be in multiple episodes. So probably if in a month, if I take an example in the month of August, what all things actually came. And everybody will now be, I think, talking about GPT-3 and Neuralink. Uh, that will not come in this episode itself, guys. We'll be talking about that in the next episode. But yes, uh, in this tech news, we are actually going to cover uh, respective to the AI things that have actually come up and which is very, very helpful for human beings, you know, and it has done a whole lot of thing, you know. So let's go ahead and uh, try to see some of the news with respect to this. But if you are new to this particular channel, please do subscribe the channel and uh, make sure that you hit the bell icon uh, so that you get the notification whenever I upload this particular video. Apart from this, guys, uh, I've also, uh, you know, many people also ask me that, Krish, uh, how do you come to know about various things? Now, guys, apart from my work that I do, I also do a lot of research uh, where I'll be reading various articles. I'll be spending at least one to two hours on this. So I really want to portray this particular information to you all uh, so that it will be very, very helpful. Now, let's go to the first article. And this is a pretty amazing article, guys. Uh, the AI tool detects child abuse images with 99% accuracy. Now, uh, what are child abuse images that we need to discuss, guys? Uh, I'll be showing you some ex some of the example of child abuse images. So these are some of the examples that were available in the internet. Uh, but ju but ju just by seeing this, you know, uh, definitely the child may have some negative impact. Uh, not only this kind of images, guys, uh, you may also have videos. Uh, so in short, I've taken some definition from the Wikipedia. So you can see over here what is child abuse images. The child abuse image content URL list is a list of URLs and image hashes provided by the Internet Watch Foundation to its partner to enable the blocking of child pornography and criminal obscene adult content in the UK and by major international technology companies. Remember guys, whenever we see this kind of videos or if the children see this kind of videos and images, definitely they may have some different mindset. They may develop some different kind of mindset. So in order to prevent that, you know, this particular AI tool has been developed and it is being able to predict about 99% accuracy. Now the next thing is that which company developed it, right? So the company named Thorn has actually developed it and this tool is basically called as Safer, okay? So the tool called Safer is developed by a non-profit organization that is Thorn to assist business which do not have in-house filtering system to detect and remove such images, right? So these are like 100K abuse image identified, amazing thing, uh, really an amazing tool develop for the benefit of human being right now what are the techniques that they have actually used they've used a concept called as image hash matching now let me just explain you a brief idea about what is image hash matching suppose i have two similar images of different size you know so image hash matching actually helps us to compress this image in the same side so that we'll be able to compare this particular image and find out whether this image is same or not Okay, so this technique was actually been applied in this. There's also a concept of image classification that is CSAM image classification. You know, uh, just by seeing the images, they'll be able to determine and they'll be able to classify whether that is safe or not. Okay, uh, we also have video hash matching. Now, with respect to image and video hash matching, in videos, we have multiple frames. So uh, they have probably taken all the frames and they have used this particular concept to determine whether this uh, image is basically safe or not. Okay. Apart from that, there is also concept of safer list for detection. Uh, now, uh, these are some of the examples and I hope everybody has seen in this internet. Definitely, if a, if a child actually sees this kind of images, uh, definitely he may have some kind of negative impact. Now, coming to the article two, uh, which again is a pretty much amazing article for developer, developers like us. So Deep Code, a company provides AI code reviews for over 4 million developers. This headline was also making uh, you know, amazing thing in the August month, because just imagine they were able to review for over 4 million developers. They have just developed this amazing AI tool, which will be able to review all the developer codes. And just imagine 4 million developers, that's a huge number, right? So uh, this is the website. And again, the, the website link of this particular company will be given in the description. You can also get started and uh, you can uh, use it for free, you know, and you can see that uh, whatever code that you have actually committed in the repository of GitHub, just try to give that to them and just see what all kind of warnings and uh, problems that you may be facing, like basically reviews, I'll say, okay? All those reviews will be able to get it over there, okay? Now coming to the recent announcement that they have actually made, 
So uh, AI powered code review, deep code has announced that it checks the code of, it has checked the code of over 4 million developers. Uh, this was the statement from the CEO, Boris uh, Paskalev's CEO and the co-founder of deep code. Uh, he says that he quotes, our data shows that uh, over 50% of the repositories have critical issues and every second pull request has warning about the issues that needs to be fixed. Definitely this will be helpful for all the developers in the organization, at least for the, all the people who are at least starting, uh, you know, if he's a fresher, if he's writing code, definitely there will be peer code reviews. But uh, this code will also help him to find out issues in the code. And specifically, if you're talking about critical issues, yes, it is must, right? By using deep code, these issues are automatically identified and logically explained as suggestions are made about how to fix them before code is deployed. And as per I remember the article guys, uh, basically their statement, they also support languages like Julia, Python, JavaScript, uh, and some more languages. I think I'll give you the article link. Uh, you can actually watch it over there. But it supports multiple languages, which is pretty much good. Now coming to the final uh, article, uh, this is pretty much amazing because recently I developed this particular app and Amazon is actually using it. So Amazon uses, uh, uses uh, AI powered displays to enforce social distancing and warehouse. Now you can see some of the images over here, people are walking in the Amazon warehouse and there they can actually see that whether they are maintaining uh, social distancing or not. In the right hand side you can see that there is no social distancing maintained in the left hand you can see that there are social distancing maintained even though they are walking so that that is the reason why there is a stripes in the floor so that they can walk properly and the social distancing maintained over here right so here you can see that in the right side of the image not that social distancing is maintained now why this is pretty much amazing because just a month back i had implemented this particular project and amazon, amazon is using it i've also seen many people who are able to implement this project and they were actually showcasing in LinkedIn, uh, which is pretty amazing work. So all these things that we actually do guys, it is pretty much important. Uh, and trust me, we will be using some of the other way in our day to day life. You know, some company may come up with this particular problem statement and definitely whatever knowledge you had, you had done that, right? You'll be implementing those things over there. So uh, I hope you like this particular video. Now you may be considering why three guys. Uh, yes, I've just started it. Let me make it as a habit and probably I'll be coming up with more news articles in the world of AI and the recent developments, recent techniques, new innovations that are coming up, which will be help helpful for you. And if probably any research papers, any research ideas also comes, I'll also be showcasing those details, right? So this was the episode one from my side. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel. And yes, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all. Bye-bye.